Okay, now we get to our um, screen. It's touch screen. Um, it's absolutely customizable, right? Right now it's set up like this personalization. Here you would have your Porsche ID. Um, this is a Porsche Connect setup. It's gonna be in the next video. Um, Porsche Connect will make these whole settings. It's going to link the car to your account and it will activate um, certain features as in apps for six months for free as of right now. And right now it's um, May 2020. So they have it six months free and then you can subscribe and have certain services right here like weather, news. Uh, basically, if you like to travel, um, it's a great helper because you don't need to have someone do that for you. Uh, you can just simply go to your voice control, voice command and say, what is the weather like today? Ta -da. Weather in Littleton for today, 10.39 a.m. Today will be cloudy. The current temperature is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. You can change location. You can see, okay, what's the weather like in Oahu? I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can totally do so. The car will do that. There's a few cool other features, news. The car can read news to you. You don't need to uh, read them yourself. You press the uh, this button and it just starts. Um, Awful data show you yeah, nice that's a sad news right show. now, so I am not in the mood to listen to that and so on and so forth. And you can also pick the channel, where do you want to stream it from, and it can read it to you, you can read it yourself. Available restaurants, parking lots, not parking spots, uh, just regular Google search, gas stations, hotels, all that, right? So it's Porsche Connect. So uh, also Porsche Connect, even if you do not subscribe, if you do not extend your subscription, you want to activate it to your car and uh, create your Porsche ID and all that. Um, get an eight-digit pairing code, put it in the screen, and I'll show you how to do that again. And then all the settings, the way you live them, right here in the center panel, right? All the settings you will have saved, like your sound settings, your favorite stations, your uh, all the all the locking, unlocking of the car. It's going to save. If you do not do that, or you haven't received the code yet. Do not set anything. It's going to go and disappear um, until you actually activate your Porsche ID. So activate your Porsche ID and set up your Porsche Connect uh, to be exact. So right here, um, real quick, uh, you, you would go to settings, Porsche Connect, uh, Porsche ID settings, link new Porsche ID. You would press that. You would have a digit pairing code which would be texted to you from Porsche, not from your dealership, from Porsche. You put them in, you, put, you press OK. Uh, it will take time to sync, and then you have to be outside, and now n do not do it in the garage and expect it to work. And then uh, it will activate your account. And then you can go to your settings, let's say to vehicle settings, like locking, and I want to fold in mirrors, correct. I want to have comfort access, this is keyless entry, right? Um, and I want to unlock, let's say, only driver door. I don't want all doors to unlock because it's, let's say it's only me, right? And then in a gas station, it's safer to do this way. So then you would just uh, go ahead and uh, press just the driver door, uh, close it up, and then it would save your settings. So this is going to be real quick about the uh, Porsche Connect and all the Porsche settings right here. So, um, settings, Porsche Connect, put your uh, code. So the dealer would send you, actually the Porsche sends you the link uh, to register a Porsche ID. Once you register it, Porsche after that sends you, uh, text you the eight digit pairing code. If they don't, please call 1-800-PORSCHE and they will do so and help you on the phone and they will text you and verify your information and then you can put it in your car. Unfortunately, we cannot do that for you uh, for security purposes. So um, going back to our screen right here, right? So PCM screen, um, it's called PCM. Let's see, configure home, configure widget, uh, active delete mode. So we're not doing this, we're going to configure home. And let's say I do not want calls in here so I'm going to, um, let's do this in media because I'm a right-handed person right now. So there you go. I want to just delete it. 
So you just drag it to the trash can. And I do really want to add apps in here, but they are not available here, they're available here. So I'm gonna put it right here. Um, that's the different, you can set it up the way you like it, right? There's different outlets pre-made, or you can make them your own as well, right? And then you can scroll and see which uh, version of certain feature do you want to leave on and you can confirm it and bam it's going to save right here okay uh, configure the widget is for setting up the little piece of a split screen which goes on the right hand side if you're using Porsche I'm sorry Apple CarPlay so Apple CarPlay will uh, be here on the main screen and then right here you're gonna have the widgets and then you can select what would you want to have there while you're using your let's say Apple um, CarPlay right so you can say okay I want a sound to be right there and then there you go and then you confirm it and when you have an Apple Play right here you would have widget with um, certain features right there that you could use so it's a, it's a little shortcuts right here if you need to change date or, or time it's usually uh, automatic time settings you go to time settings automatic time sync if you bought a new car and it's not synced properly you just need to do time sync let's say um, automatic time zone right let's say time sync press it unpress it again go back and it will sync it again so pretty simple recipe for that we're going back to the home screen navigation we already spoke about using the voice control take me here take me there um, if you want to do manual input you're welcome to do so right here you can put the address I should uh, I would suggest to start with zip code makes it easy uh, here you have your map settings, right? Your compass, I love compass, so we'll add compass here, satellite map. Some people do not like that, so let's make it just simple and flat like this. We can keep it in satellite mode. 3D map will give it a little angle. Right here you have location, destinations, navigation settings, which you can follow and change, uh, change a lot of things, which um, you can go to sort your destinations if you have destinations saved. And to save your destinations, you go to favorites, and then you go to homework, or you can do store new destination, and you can have a whole list of your destinations right here. So then when you use your voice control, you can say, take me home, take me to work, and uh, it's going to just be a bit bigger of a shortcut. So just regular destination input, you can do house number, you can also do this, right? And you can, it's just fun. I think it's more of a uh, eating your time up but uh, there's few different options with it we're going to go to media here's how I muted these buttons they're also just repeat 